It's time for us to get busy with a new shape of sentence. And just as we started with a little piece before, we're going to start with a little piece now. And that little piece is a sentence to get us started. You can see a bunch of them on the board. I'm going to read a few of them to you. And as you're listening, I'd like you to think if you can about the pattern that they make. This pattern is going to serve us very well. So uh, here's one. Once I was a happy city kid. Now I'm an old man in the country. Hmm. There's one. Here's the next. Once I was shy. Now I'm mellow. Here's another one. Uh, once I went to high school. Now I log into college. Once I stuffed my face with junk food. Now I cook low carb. Now I'm going to ask you as a first step this week to write a bunch of sentences like this of your own. And you'll notice they have a pattern. Once I was once upon a time x x x x x x. But now y y y y y y y y y. So it's two times two things, but it's a two-part sentence and that sentence looks at the same thing under two contrasting conditions. Back in the day it was like this. Now in my current world, commitments, values, efforts, it's like this. And this essay shape, these sentences, we could call them seed sentences because we're going to use this sentence to grow a whole next essay. These seed sentences uh, look at one thing under two contrasting conditions. So uh, first step is to uh, write five, six, seven, eight sentences of your own. You can use any of these that you want. Once I went to high school, now I log into college. Uh, once I went to uh, residential college, now I study at home from COVID. Once I went to work every day, these many hours, now I work at home. So there's lots and lots and lots of them. Give, give yourself a bunch of, a bunch of them to choose uh, before the next step. So you can turn off the, the video for a second and write these five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 uh, of these. Off you go. Great. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. So now that you've got a list of these once now seed sentences, uh, the next step is to use that sentence uh, as an organizational step to draft uh, a first pass at a new essay. So here's that. Uh, that would go. Um, which one do you want me to do? A happy city kid. Now I'm an old man in the country. Um, do you want me to do that one? I don't know. You're not there. Or should I talk about diet? What's more important, talking about moving or talking about food? What would you rather hear from me? What would be more valuable to you, to my audience, uh, to talk about the issue of moving from the city to the country or about all the changes that I've made in my diet and why. Hmm, healthy information about food or uh, once I went to high school, now I log into college. Well, you know what I could do? Um, I could also write one that's really at the top of my uh, attention right now is once I taught on campus, and now I teach online. Now there's a really real world, uh, there's a real world essay for me to write about uh, because it's an experience that I'm very much in the midst of and uh, I'm not always happy about it, but I'm also not always sad about it. Uh, it's really maybe important for me to think about the differences in my pedagogy fancy word for teaching, my teaching, uh, to think about the differences in those two contexts. So if I really wanted to explore this in a way that would be useful for you guys, my student audience, 
or maybe it's useful for my colleagues, my other faculty who are going through the same thing. Or maybe it's useful politically so people can talk about the real trade-offs of online and live learning, uh, but in a sort of substantial way. So first, my first step is to tell all I can about my once part. Once. Once I taught on campus, and I want to say all I can about how it was for me back then. I can use the, I'm going to create the middle part of an essay, which are about details and concrete things and specifics, and I'm going to use 20 minutes to draft all I can say about once. And I can think already about, um, uh, some things. I could simply talk, uh, I could talk about my schedule, uh, my commute, what a typical day was. Because it's really different. That's one thing that's really different. I could then, next thing, I could talk about walking into my classroom and I would talk about my students' faces and their outfits, and their mood, and their who comes first, who comes late, all of the drama of the parking garage. There's so much that happens in the first five or ten minutes of class as a professor. We, get, we have our own mood, our own drama of the day. You guys have your drama of the day. Uh, I could think about, I might talk about uh, actual, the teaching, what a class looks like, and all about questions and answers that happen in the class. I might talk about handouts. So, boy, oh boy, oh boy, I can, just looking at my once part about what made up school for me back then, I have a whole paragraph about my day, a whole paragraph about students' faces, a whole paragraph about what happens in class. I could think of another whole paragraph about my colleagues, what it's like, uh, how, who, who, what was my interactions, conversations, what were the rituals of the faculty in, in a work week. Um, I could talk about uh, what it's like to come home after I've been on campus all day, how it is, you know, what do Peter and I talk about over dinner and uh, what kind of energy and what kind of fatigue do I bring in to my home life after life at Housatonic. So, wow, that's a lot for me. I have a lot to say. This is a good one for me to pick. Um, you, those of you who have been on campus before could do the same essay. Once I was live class, now it's on campus. Or you could talk, once you guys could talk about live class in high school as opposed to now. So the first step is to write all about the once part. And, and this is to give yourself, you know, give yourself a time frame. You know, you're going to press for three paragraphs or four paragraphs, one page, two pages. Are you going to give your 30 minutes, uh, 30 minute writing time of real focused writing time as a first pass? Uh, after you've done that, of course, you're going to take a break, stand up, take some big breaths, get a new piece of paper or a fresh new screen, and then you get to come and do the second half of this middle. The second half of this middle is now I teach or I learn online. Wowie, wowie, wowie. So what's online like for me? Well, first of all, it's all from home. So I was thinking about the commute before. Now I could say, okay, what's it like to work from home? And I could tell you about my typical day, talk about my spaces and so on and so forth. You know, in the last, some, sometimes, you know, the first once part helps us organize our top part. Um, but what's it like to teach online? Well, I have, um, I have these videos. I have video lectures and I could talk about that. I have Blackboard and I have to talk about that. I had all bunch of training to do to get myself up to speed so I could talk about training. Um, um, 
I work on very different schedule. I work, I feel like I'm working all the time. I bet you are too, because uh, it just takes a lot of time to make it and publish it and send it and to track every week, um, looking at the Blackboard web pages, responding to student papers, what that's like, uh, printing out all your faces so I can look at you in my in my really right student stuff. So so um, the content of my teaching. Uh, I could talk about how it's the same at some levels and really different in other levels. So again, with this one for me, in a very real world way, here's an essay shape that's really a good way for me to critically think about a big change that I've gone through uh, and that you can use this shape to think about your teaching and learning. Um, you know, in the past, a lot of students have said, once I, w once I studied in high school, now I study at college. And they've used this essay shape to really think, to articulate for people uh, how different college work is from high school work. Um, I've had people use the once now shape to talk about their home country where they lived, and now they live um, uh, in the States. For those of you who come from a different place, um, I have students who've talked about before being a parent, and now they have children. Once I was single, and once my time was my own, now I'm part of a family, and my time has very different shape. So once I was, now I am. First step is to make a list, a whole bunch of once nows, just these one little sentences that you think would be, um, that you can come up with. And then the next step is to use uh, some substantial focused writing time this week to write the once part and then write the now part. And I want you to think of this as a very generous, very substantial two-part middle. Uh, last essay shape, we just wrote a story. This essay shape, we're going to have two parts, and we'll talk after we've got these drafted, we'll talk about, okay, what do we need to do to turn this middle into a whole essay with an ending and a beginning that, uh, that put it out so that others can benefit from our critical thinking of our research, if you will, using our own experience and our own challenges to do that. I think you'll enjoy. You guys have really warmed up. Uh, you can, you're writing much faster now. You're kind of, you know, whatever the rhythm of online is, you figured it out. So this essay number seven, we'll work on it this week. And then next week, and this is really the last new essay that we'll uh, and that's not true. Um, it's you know, we're heading into the last few weeks of school. So um, just so you can have a heads up, we're going to do this once now, seven. We'll work next week at turning this into a complete essay. We'll work on the ending next week and turning it into fair copy. And then the next thing that we do, our next essay number eight, just as a heads up, is we're going to be looking at all of the essays you've written, four, five, six, and seven. And we're going to pick one of those to stretch and expand with outside sources. So we'll be talking that. That essay number eight is not new material. It's... Um, it's a rewrite that incorporates outside sources. And then our last essay together is a reflection essay on, on the semester, on your writing, and all that we've done. So this is just, you know, we really have November and we're done. I mean, November, we have a week, week or so into December to work, but we're really um, winding down. So as the, as the clocks change back and as the weather gets colder, um, I'm going to do everything I can to help you guys feel good about the hard work that gets you through uh, and, and wraps up this semester, this challenging of all challenging semesters. So last thing I want to say before I let you go is that I am available to you guys uh, for, cons uh, for, for, um, for meetings at any time. I think the best way to do this at this point is if you would like to meet with me to go over a paper to ask questions. Uh, to get advice, whatever, I'm available. All you have to do is send three times in a week that you could meet. So I could meet this half hour, that half hour, that half hour, and I will f pick one of them that fits into my schedule and I will meet, I'll, I'll send you a Zoom link and we can meet on Zoom. 
So it's a great thing to go over papers, uh, talk about next semester if you want my two cents about courses that you should take. Um, uh, but uh, rewrite sentences, really work on this sentence shape stuff or on MLA questions. I mean, it's great. You get, you get free coaching of Captain Kirk anytime you want. Uh, just send me three possible times and then we'll, we'll sign up and, we'll, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll be available and I'll get to work closely with you, which is a great joy for me, actually. So in the meantime, happy Halloween. Uh, happy, have a good first week of November and see you next time.